And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. A strong feeling of displeasure or hostility. And somebody forgot to tell Mr. Webster about the other stuff that goes along with it. The arguments, the crying, the saying I'm sorry and accepting when people say they're sorry. I'm finding out that with friends and family, that's the really hard part. So I'm trying really hard not to be angry. But ever since I got picked up by the police a few weeks back, everybody around here has been treating me like I'm Suge Knight or something. Hey, did you teach a partner to a science table? Oh, I thought your dad didn't want you hanging around. Oh, that's ancient history. He's over it. Come on, you know we'll blow everyone away. Come on. No, thanks. Oh, and uh, tell your dad I said hi. Yes, she's out of do me a favor. Would you call my heart rap for me? Thank you so much. Well, it looks like I have to reschedule my hair huh? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot to call you. I I've been crazy all day long. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Van Adams? Yes. May I have a moment? I'm um, sorry. I wish I could help you, but I can't take any more walk-ins today. I'm with the IRS. Okay. Well, come into my office then. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. You may want to do this in private. Oh, no, no, no. We can talk in front of my sister. What can I do for you? I'm here to inform you that Cut It Up is being audited. What? What? Are you serious? We're going to need you to come down to the office in two weeks with these items. May I ask why you're giving my sister such personal attention? Excuse me? Hand delivering an audit to such a small business? That's not IRS protocol. Normally, a business is allowed up to six weeks to prepare for an audit. Not in this case. Well, why not? Like I said, not in this case. You know what? I'm sure we can clear this up right now because I keep a, a record of all the shop's returns right here. So we're going to need more than just returns. It's all spelled out in the letter. If you have any questions, just call me. My card's in there. Terry, what am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? Hey, first of all, don't panic, OK? I have a friend at the IRS. What, what does she mean, you don't need more? More things like what? I don't know. Let me see her card. Before we get started, I've got the permission slips for this year's student exchange program. Anyone interested? Uh, every year we do this stupid exchange program. It's pretty much just a chance to go to some other school and make Lakeside look good. Yeah, they can miss me with all that. Who are we exchanging with this year? Zora Hurston High School. It's a magnet school on the south side. Also, now because it's on the south side, no one wants to go. Man, who are these people? I gotta get out of this place. Even if it is only for two days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, give me a second, man. I know I got you here somewhere. Actually, I need to talk to you about something. You got a minute? Sure. What's up? All right. 
Well, Kenny, I just wanted to say thank you for hooking me up with a job here. When no one else would hire me, you did. I'll always be grateful for that. Oh, man, no thanks necessary. No, 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 I, I mean it. I mean, you always had my back, Kenny, and I'm not gonna forget it. What are we talking about here, Len? I need to give you my two weeks' notice. Oh. Well, I knew that this was gonna happen sooner or later. So you, uh, you got something else lined up? Yep. Mm -hmm. Baron gave me this big promotion, and I cannot afford to pass up this opportunity. No, you sure can. I mean, you gotta do your thing, right? Yep, that's right. You know, for a second there, I thought you were gonna say that this has something to do with that shady cat who's been coming around here to see you. Oh, it's not even like that, Kenny. I don't... Hey, hey, you don't have to convince me. I mean, I got your back, right? Remember? So who is he anyway? This is one of Barron's guys. We had to, you know, handle some business that couldn't wait, which is why I needed to give you notice. I mean, I can't keep spreading myself between two jobs like this. Uh, guess there's nothing else to say, but congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna miss you around here, man. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> nah, man, me too. Me too. Good, good. Oh, hold on. Chadwick Toy. Oh, hey, baby. Yeah. Say what? You're not gonna answer that? No, it's probably just Marcus again. Marcus? Isn't that the guy you went out with the other night? Yeah. What happened to what's his name? Jordan? Uh, well, he's a baby. I had to let him go. Oh. National Overnight Express has been very good to you. Look, it's not funny, Bird. He got pissed off and came to my house and cussed me out. Mm. Then he had his route changed. Like, well, maybe you'll hold out a little longer before hitting these guys with your good stuff. Mm. I'm done with men for a while. I have too much work to catch up on. <gasps> hey, Lem. What's going on? Babe, the shop is being audited. What? I told you stop trying to cook the no, books. Honey, this is serious. Here we go. First, this is my last box, and I'm going home. Hey, honey. Hey. Is he still here? Yeah, he's in the dining room with the kids. Said he wasn't leaving until he got a chance to talk to you. And he still hasn't said what he wants. Well, I can't get anything out of him. Okay. What's up, Dad? Hey, I'm on. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> hey. What's the deal? You can't show your brother no love, huh? Wow. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> uh, it's been too long. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, how's your wife doing? Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a long story, man. Let's just say, for better or worse, turned out to be a lot worse than I thought. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, you know, not everyone can be as blessed as you and Kenny are. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, uh, Maxine, would you mind excusing us for a minute? Okay. Um, okay. Kelvin, are you going to stay for dinner? Well, I appreciate the offer, Maxine, but I don't think so. Ahmad, you and Brooke, come help me in the kitchen. Come on, Mama. Have a seat. Sound kind of wild, Kenny. But you know, I wouldn't be here if the situation wasn't desperate. Hey, look, man. If you're gonna ask for money, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't need your money. No. Uh, it's about mom. She's sick. Leukemia. And she needs a bone marrow donor. Okay, I've been tested. I even talked Pop into getting tested. Neither one of us is a match. Well, I knew this was going to be tough, but I was hoping for a little bit more reaction than that. Well, I still haven't heard you say why you're here. Well, then you ain't been listening, Kenny. We need you to take the test. A blood relative is our best shot. I mean, come on, man. All right, I didn't come all the way here from Detroit to stir up some old shit between you and Mama. I'm just asking you to take a simple test. Think about it. I mean, what's there to think about? She's your mother. No, she's your mother. Oh, come on. 
Look, I haven't seen or talked to this woman in I don't know how long. Look, now, I said I'll think about it. That's the best that I can do for right now. Your kids are amazing, man. <laughs> yes, they are. You know, I don't get to see my daughter that often, but uh, well, that's life, right? You know, I think I'll take Maxine up on that dinner offer after all. Here you go, all the last year's weekly schedules. Oh, babe, you're supposed to be looking for the box mark weekly reports, not the schedules. Hey, man, we've been through every inch of this house at least twice. I don't think you had that one, Burr. Well, Lem, it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, it didn't just grow legs and walk away. Where? Terry needs those files by tomorrow. If we don't find them, they could come and put a lien on the house. Or freeze our bank accounts or shut down the shop. All right, baby, calm down. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I worked way too hard to try to build, cut it up, to have them come and just take it away from me. I know. Look, I put some of the boxes in the garage when we cleaned out the attic, remember? Maybe we misplaced some of, of your files in there. All right, all right, I forgot about those. Well, I'll go check on them, all right? Okay. Thank you. We'll find it. Uncle Kelvin doesn't come around much. He's cool, so I'm always happy when he does. But all I could think about was getting into the student exchange program and out of Lakeside Prep. There was just one thing standing in the way. Mom. I don't see what the big deal is. It's only for two days. Two days at a school where they had a shooting just last month. That wasn't at school. Somebody just robbed a store around the corner from there. Oh, somebody just robbed a store. Oh, now I feel a whole lot better. Well, baby, maybe we should think about this. I mean, the exchange program might be a good way to get back in Lakeside Press favor. Well, he shouldn't have to, Kenny. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. Now, we're sending him to the school to take advantage of the opportunities, right? Well, this is one of them. Sounds like an opportunity for you to get jacked for your little Nikes. Uh, it's not like that, Uncle Kelvin. I mean, Zora Hurston is a magnet school. You can call it a magnet school all you want, but I'm with your mama. You need to stay right where you are, surrounded by all them little white kids. Kelvin. Now, look, my wife and I can handle this, okay? And, baby, like we were discussing before, we need to start letting Lamar live his life. I mean, it's not like this school is Vietnam, right? <laughs> okay, fine. He can go. Yes. But I will be there to pick you up and drop you off every day. Deal? Deal. I'll go do the dishes. You're a lawyer. I must advise you that you have the right to stop payment. David's money. He earned it. He can't find a donor, so he wants me to take the test to see if I'm a match. What'd you tell him? Told him I'd think about it. You know, when my mother was sick, there was nothing in the world I wouldn't have done for her. Well, not everyone can have a mother like you had, Maxine. That's not what I'm saying, honey, and you know that. The fact that your mother could possibly die should be enough to make you set aside your problems with her. Look, I, I know you're trying to help, baby. But let's just drop it and try to enjoy the rest of the evening, okay? Bye. Nice to have met you. Had a happy time. And, you know, there are, are some 